I'm Ken Kellett, working here at Fantasy of Flight, and we're going to give you a, an update on our standard J1 project. All right, I know it's been a while since we did an update uh, on the standard J1 project here. Um, we're going to try to get you caught up. We've been doing a few other things around here. If you've been watching any of uh, the other videos, uh, Paul and the crew, we've been taking stuff out of containers, Spitfire and Lancaster bomber and all kinds of good stuff. And so needless to say, that's cut into our time just a little bit. But it's been a while since we had an update. Since that time, we've progressed quite a bit. Remember it was in the wood shop here, the wings were on it, and we were making cables and everything. So uh, now we've torn it all apart again. We've uh, made all the measurements that we needed to do. And uh, I've progressed. We've gone ahead and put the fuel tank in now. We've plumbed uh, the tank and all the valves are in. Uh, gone through and done basically all the safety. And when you put the seat belts in, you know you're almost done. So the seat belts are in and now we're doing fabric work. So today I'm uh, actually fitting the fabric on the left hand side. I did the, uh, the right hand side yesterday. And so uh, once the fabric's been, uh, you know, kind of pre-cut, you know, I, I'll come along and I'm going to clamp it on and do the, all the final cuts and stuff so that um, I can come back and dope it. Uh, believe it or not, it gets a little out of control sometimes. And if you don't keep everything nice and straight, next thing you know, you've got some big huge sag in your fabric and causing you a nightmare. So it's one of those things where you take your time, make sure you've got it hanging on there nice and tight the way it needs to be, and then you can go back and start uh, gluing the fabric on. So uh, right now I've, I've marked the, I've got it attached up at the top, made the final marks here. I'll remove it and do a final trim down here so when the fabric uh, rolls around the bottom of the airplane that it's a nice straight line and doesn't wave all over the place and uh, then we'll come back with uh, hot water and a spray bottle and you can see there's lots of wrinkles in this fabric and you'll see as soon as you spray it with water it just pulls perfectly tight so uh, that's the next step uh, with, uh, with our fabric work. whether it's going to pull up or not, right. You do your best. Sometimes that's not, not good enough.
can't let it get bunched up because if it does, it'll create a nightmare for you. Because you want to pull it down and because the fuselage is doing this, every time it comes to one of these, you're going to have to make a cut so that it overlaps. So you don't end up getting some weird crease in here. Because if you do, you'll problem. Okay. Okay. All right. Now what I can do is I can start to uh, gluing at the tops. Okay, well, there's two types of dope. There's nitrate and butyrate dope. Nitrate dope with cotton seems to pull up a lot better than butyrate tautening dope. There's also tautening and non-tautening dope. This is non-tautening because we're just gluing the fabric on, but once we start putting the, uh, the dope on the fabric gets tautening so that it starts shrinking and pulling the fiber fabric up tight. We'll see if this is going to do it. And we're going to let this dry really well before we start pulling on it with the water before we spray it. Because if not, what happens is it starts pulling loose. And that's not good. And the better job you do here, the better job, finish job, job you have. If you do a sloppy job here, you're going to set a sloppy. You're going to fix a lot of screw ups. Laying flat, I just come back and trim the extra that's hanging over. Not to mess with it too much because you'll start stretching the fabric. And if you start stretching the fabric, you'll just really screw yourself. Even even the brush, if you push too hard, you know, you're stretching the fibers and uh, you're just gonna make it more, more difficult for it to, to pull up. All right, I'm gonna let that dry before I go tugging on it, you know, to glue down here. So 
so we'll let this sit for a while. Tug it on it too much, or you stretch it. It stretches all out of shape. Those nuts. I probably will come back, and I'll make incisions on these joints, because that's where I want it to do that. And uh, again, so that I don't end up with a crease in there. But this way it'll give me an opportunity to, to get it, you know, it'll dry fairly quickly. And so it'll be really stuck and not be moving. So I don't slop some dope your way. Okay, there we go. <laughs> There's a whole procedure here. I go get water and I put it in the microwave and I heat it up real hot and put it in here. See how the wrinkles mm -hmm. in there?
Beautiful. All wrinkles pulled out. This is yesterday's work. Uh, just repeating what I just showed you there. I glued the fabric on and came back. Uh, we pulled it as tight as we really can and glue it and then come back with just uh, really hot water in a spray bottle and you just spray the whole thing and just let it pull up and you can see it's pulled pretty pretty tight. Um, I'll be starting to dope it today using nitrate dope. Uh, it's tautening so it'll start pulling it up and then it'll it'll sound like a drum like the belly uh, as soon as we get it pulled up tight. Then we'll just repeat the process on the other side. Um, once the fabric's got enough dope on it, uh, we will proceed with uh, putting some tapes on the edges, uh, some cotton tapes, some verticals on where the struts are inside the verticals. And uh, then it'll be going over to the paint booth for spray and put through silver and then the final color, uh, yellow on their airplane. So uh, uh, that'll be our process. and. Uh, We'll be ready to then start the final assembly of the airplane. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the wings. They're in the restoration shop. Okay, we're, we're over at the restoration shop where I put together the top wing. And if you pan this, you can see just how big this airplane is. Uh, I think this is like 44 feet long from tip to tip. Um, it had to be assembled again so we could get all the, uh, uh, the angles set correctly for the wing. Cables made to support these A-frames that go up on the top. And then finally to put the ailerons on the airplane and run this balance cable. And you can see it, it's a control cable that runs from this aileron all the way down through a pulley to the other aileron. And uh, in doing that, we had to build these other little tiny little A-frame fairing supports, I guess, uh, so that uh, this doesn't sit and slap the, the fabric. So you want to, that's a long span from here to there. And so, uh, so we've got uh, some guides down there uh, that are going to guide the cable. So this is completed now. Uh, we will be again disassembling all of this uh, to make room here if we actually end up uh, reassembling the whole airplane again, which we may do. Uh, we're still waiting on the engine and uh, radiator. They're going to be a ways off. Uh, kind of coming down the, the way here to be finishing this project up and uh, getting ready for my next project, which uh, hopefully is going to be the Spirit of St. Louis uh, replica that we have. And uh, it's going to take every bit of the room that we've got in here to actually do that project. That has a one piece, 46 foot long wing. So uh, that's going to be a big project to, uh, to start. Looking forward to it. Okay, that's it for now. Uh, we'll probably be bringing the fuselage over here in the next week or so into the paint booth to get started with the uh, final paint for the fuselage. Uh, obviously we have a little bit of uh, sheet metal work to accomplish. I don't know how much we'll be able to do uh, until we actually get the engine, uh, but certainly firewall aft uh, will be done. And uh, we'll go from there and see if uh, we get the airplane all assembled and, uh, and looking like an airplane. So that's it for now. Come back and see us.